Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Tokyo. Um, I'm here at the beginning of mine and Liam's month long trip in December to January of 2019 to 2020. It's actually January, 1st of January 2020, so Happy New Year. Um, not too sure when I'll get this video out. Never mind. Uh, anyway, for the beginning of our trip, we actually stayed in a really strange place. Um, we're staying in an area of Tokyo which we love, which is called Omata Sando. I love this area. Great coffee, amazing shops, really expensive area. Can't afford to buy anything here. Uh, just just looking around but the place that we stayed in is this caravan hotel tokyo so in this small video i just want to sort of show you around this caravan uh which is where we stay for our first three nights uh, i booked this place over airbnb i'll leave a link below if you are interested in staying here also um but anyway yeah let's go So we're in and this is the entire space. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look around. This is the front door here and I'm actually quite tall for it and I'm pretty short so we have to duck every time that we come into here. When we entered into the caravan um, we found a couple of sheets of information. This is quite common in Airbnb places in Japan and it gave us a, a few sort of indications of where things were around. The most important one for us was this one up here, the public bath and coin laundry. We weren't staying here for long enough that we needed the coin laundry but we definitely used the public bath and we used it instead of the bathroom here but i'll show you the bathroom in a bit it's actually quite fine but it's just a public bath it's quite a lot nicer and so that's why we used it there's a door that we showed you earlier on here is a three light switches for controlling some of the lights in the apartment they're really funky i love the design this is where we stored our bags our shoes there's my mega boots and coats um there was only well there's a few hangers <laughs> but this is the only sort of wardrobe space in the whole place so we just used it to store coats up here this is the air conditioning unit air conditioning units in japan usually do heat and air conditioning and thank god they did because this is the middle of winter <laughs> well not the middle of winter the beginning of winter and it was really cold we have a retro tape deck <laughs> it's so hipster i love it and a selection of cassette tapes for you to use we didn't actually use it but i appreciate the design and there's a kettle a couple of mugs and a sink with one tap my only complaint about the sink was that we could never work out whether the tap was doing cold water or hot water it just seemed to change it have a mind of its own and just choose what it wanted to do i'm sure there's a knack for it but i don't know what it is uh, and there is a sort of pulley out mirror and we have a one light switch here which turns on this very retro light <laughs> i do like all those light accents they're really cool <laughs> on this side of the room oh sorry the light is shining a little bit uh there's obviously a window and a couple of sort of drawer sort of drawer what are these things called curtains <laughs> it's kind of what they're called <laughs> a couple of curtains which will block everything out i think they weren't quite blackout curtains maybe they were actually they were very effective anyway that is a pull-up table it can collapse or pull up um as you see fit and over here this was our bed it's slightly smaller than a double our only complaint with it was that the um the duvet seemed a little short on the width so the duvet could be could could do with being a little bit wider but otherwise the bed itself was perfectly fine the bed has a bookcase at the end of it and there's some really convenient items down here it's quite dark so hopefully you'll be able to see there's sort of um for breezy stuff for your clothes um a lint roller a hairdryer and a straightener they had a straightener <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Uh, something to extinguish fires. A couple of pairs of slippers, which we didn't wear, but they were there. Um, a whole bowl of one yen coins. Really interesting. And replacements of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash with, obviously, a few toilet rolls as well. On the other side of the bookcase, uh, there was tissues. A really funky clock. I love this clock. It was so cool. I want to find one. And a collection of sort of coffee table books, which was super cute, and a guidebook. Very, very useful. Uh, just the two bags here. Here. we're actually leaving today so um the this is our rubbish and our recycling the recycling is in the big white pokemon center bag and the rubbish i've left in the black bags there's not a bin around so we just collected rubbish in these and i'm going to send the host an email to say um they're in there and uh, please dispose of them and thank you very much right let's take a look at the bathroom so this is the end of the bed uh that's a light that's over the bed which is very convenient and we're going to go into the bathroom here 
Again, this is a little bit short. Um, I am just, just <laughs> too tall for it. So I have to duck to get in here. One of the cool things about this bathroom is it has a standard Japanese toilet, which is amazing. They also gave us a couple of towels. And the unit for the water and the toilet are here. This is the unit for the toilet and everything has um, translations in English. Sorry, I'll crouch down so you can see that better. Um, so it should be relatively easy to know what you're doing. <laughs> this is the most important one, the one with the red spot. <laughs> this is the controller for the temperature of the water and you can see it's actually pretty high. And the reason why it's so high is unlike the bedroom, which if you can see this sort of wood paneling is insulation. So there's insulation behind the wood paneling. Inside the bathroom, there is no insulation. So it was super, super cold in here always. It is December, it's five degrees outside at the moment. This is the shower. They have controls down here. The water temperature was set high um, so that this room would heat up and it was heating up super quickly. So it was actually fine. But as I said previously, we preferred to use the bathhouse because it was just like more to our taste. We quite like using the bathhouse. That window will open. Um, it seems to be a little bit faded away, like the sort of frosting in certain areas, but it was perfectly fine. And this is a shower curtain up here. Sorry, I can't zoom out anymore. It's actually a really small space. One of the main reasons we actually went to the sort of Sentoi bathhouse a few more times than using the shower here is because Liam's quite tall and that shower was too short for him he is six foot two so if you're sort of around six foot or more that's going to be quite short for you but the bathhouse is super close so my recommendation is for you to use the bathhouse if you're coming here and you're super tall anyway that's the tour <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it we spent three days here in um, or three nights here in the hotel caravan tokyo and it was amazing it was the beginning of our trip i don't think i would do more than four nights i think it would be a bit too cramped for me but if you're used to kind of small environments uh, to sleep in like capsule hotels or hostels this might be perfect for you um so yeah if you have any questions drop them in the comments and i hope to see you back on the channel for more tours of japan soon liam and i are now going to take a train to kyoto so i will see you there thanks everyone bye